y'all welcome back to it girl uncensored it's your girl cecily and this is tico my co-host say hi see he got this stuff in his eyes y'all i bought some can i get this off for you can i get this off for you okay please like and subscribe you guys we're in the first trimester of youtube that's what i'm calling it because we're in the early stages of growing so if you guys please like and subscribe to the channel y'all i keep running out of like storage like I keep running out of memory and it's bothering me. And Tico just left me. Child, while I'm trying to clear out memory, I went in my bedroom here in my bed again. Like, what do you do all day for you to be tired? Anyways, I really love that Meg is becoming, like, the fashion girl now. Like, she's really getting into the fashion. She wasn't doing that before. Like, I love the evolution between, like, I love the evolution of her looks because Meg was not the fashion girl when she first the first couple of years, okay? And she went through a lot of changes, but I'm loving her new look. You know, she's smaller. She getting a little too small now. I don't need her giving Olympic teas like Ice Spice over there. Okay. But I am just I'm just loving it. She's a good direction with her career. Um she posed for cover of Billboard and Let's see. They asked her about Nicki Minaj, of course. So, so Meg Thee Stallion talked about her beef with Nicki Minaj. And she said, I still to this day don't know what the problem is. Um, I don't know what could be reconciled because I to this day don't know what the problem is. Because they asked her, you know, is there any hopes of reconciliation? Sweetie, after Bigfoot, we're not coming back from that or his. Uh, I think they a little past reconciliation. She said, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. If people feel like I'm somebody to aim at, then I must be pretty high up if you're reaching all the, if you're reaching up at me. <laughs> I'm going <gonna> add words. <laughs> I must be some kind of competition. That makes me feel good. That makes me feel like I could rap because if I wasn't the shit, y'all wouldn't be worried about me. She kind of got a point a little bit. I mean, I, I've always said, I feel like Nikki, Nikki goes at her for multiple reasons, but also because that's a competitor for her. She's, it's, she knows she can she she got somebody to like get in the ring with you know what i'm saying she's still Nicki minaj at the end of the day but megan gonna give her a run for her money i wish that i kind of wish that megan did go at her a little harder after she released bigfoot but i understand she don't want it to continue to be about maybe Nicki in the beef i think she should have kept going she didn't take enough shots on this album for me um honestly if she really want to be bold on this next era that she's going to embark in hopefully soon like the next album because i think we need to be done with this album and get straight back into what's next um if she bold she'll 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 start to beef up again i mean technically she need to respond technically but is it too late i don't know it's you know or maybe wait and see if nikki gonna take nikki's releasing um did she already released pink friday re up reloaded i ain't really heard nobody talking about it for real if they did i don't know um but if Nikki hadn't already released that, if, she, if Nikki throws some more shots at her, I feel like this is the time for... Listen, if Nikki throw another shot, Meg, you gotta come hard. Like, you have to. She hasn't released it yet. If Nikki Minaj take jabs at Megan Thee Stallion on Pink Friday 2 Reloaded, Meg needs to respond. Get in the ring, Meg. Get in the ring. They gonna say whatever they gonna say about you, but get in the ring, like, and it needs to be direct. Like we knew who you were talking about, but Nikki put a name on it. Put a name. Have a song called "Darling Nikki," like Prince. I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm starting. I'm starting shit now. Uh, a lot of people <laughs> are really confused by the beef. Do I think that Megan Thee Stallion don't know why they're beef beefing? I don't think that she completely out the loop of what's why Nikki don't like her, but. I feel like it's clear as day what their issue was i think that nikki was so nikki doesn't like when the, the barbs try to tell her who likes her and who don't because nikki be feeling i feel like nikki feel like nobody likes her and nobody like love is genuine but i feel like she does not collaborate with the girls that are genuinely feeling her but i do think that meg i don't think that meg really did like nikki but um I think what happened when she started being around Nikki, she probably was bashing Cardi. They said that she did. I'm not sure if this happened, but it's very possible that you know she was in the good. She's in the graces of Nikki, so she's probably going along to get along. 
or whatever. I a lot of people did say that Meg used to throw shade at Cardi a lot. I think when Meg did WAP, that made Nikki feel away for multiple reasons. Now, granted, it's possible that Meg met Cardi. Like everybody says, she's the sweetest thing, vibed and. It was really good for both of their careers. WAP was a really big thing, especially for Meg Thee Stallion at that time. That really took her there, right? And Nikki probably looking at it like, bitch, hold on. First of all, I thought you ain't like her. And, and on top of you doing a song with my op. But Meg was smart because Cardi was the hottest thing at the time. Not to say that she's not right now, but she was the hottest thing at the time for sure. So it made sense. It made business sense. So, I'm pretty sure that that's really what she's mad about. But I think it also has something to do with maybe the fact that Meg probably made it seem like she wasn't, you know, messing with Cardi. And now you turn around and do a song. But it works for her. It's business. Nikki, you understand that? Why you over here endorsing uh, the princess of rap? I Spice knowing damn well she ain't the princess of shit. Okay? I also think that the difference is... The difference with them in age. Nikki was in her late 30s. Nikki was pushing 40 when her and Meg did that song together. Meg is like, was in her, well, she wasn't even 25 yet, I don't think. She young. So, she young, want to have fun. She from Texas. She liked the drink. She liked the party. I don't think Nikki ever really been that party girl like that. And also, she's older, so she just, they're just two different people. So, I already think they just didn't vibe. I do feel like Nikki already had it and her i think she was already committed to not liking meg so granted she was just like all right i'll give it a chance i gave it a shot we do a song we link up together one wrong move she out i just feel like that's it never it would have never mattered what meg did nikki was gonna ha be like you gotta go regardless and I just think that that's the difference. On top of Nikki, you know, Nikki did make claims that Meg, you know, was trying to get her to drink. Oh, no, did she, what did she say? Nikki said that Meg, you know, made jokes about taking her to the clinic if she got pregnant, not knowing that Nikki actively wanted to get pregnant. Meg said she didn't say it. There's a little discrepancy there. I just think that it, it's probably possible Meg, like, girl, you're pregnant. You want to go to Clinton? You just never really know. People don't have the same sense of humor. People don't find everything funny. And I just think that she just really didn't like Meg anyway. Because she's not her vibe. They're not each other's vibe. I really think that's really what it is. We, with them not being each other's vibe, on top of her going with her op. and then, But then here's another thing. Meg is becoming the competition. Okay, well, let's be very clear. Nikki's gonna always be Nikki, but then you got Cardi who became this nationwide global success. But she know Cardi ain't got the bars to go up against her. But Cardi got the energy, Cardi got the personality. Boom! But here comes Meg coming in right behind Cardi, and now she's starting to get more global success. But she can actually go like bars is barring, okay. And I feel like Nikki, like, hold hold on, bitch. Now you can rap, rap. Now the, the whole world is up. What? And where, where you think you about to come? You, you ain't about to come and sit up here with me. Nobody's sitting up here with the queen, especially not you. I think she respects Nikki. I think Nikki respects Meg artistry as far as rap. I do think that because I don't think Nikki had her foot on her neck for a very long time. And Nikki's a Sagittarius and I'm a Sagittarius. So... You know, once you once that foot on that neck, we ain't letting off. And I think she was just poking, 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 poking until she really got a big reaction out of her. But then Meg did that one line and his sent Nikki on the Twitter ran for forty days and for forty nights. So whatever the case may be, Meg says she don't know, girl. I'm doing me, but I know one thing, Meg. If she diss you, bitch, you better come hard. Come on, she and Nikki looking for that. She looking for somebody to play with. I'm I'm telling you, she looking for that. Like, you could tell. she That's why she had the whole song, Bigfoot. She's looking for the spar. Like, she wants it. And honestly, it should be a compliment because she think you're the one that can give it to her. That's why she won't really give it to nobody else. She wants it with you. She wants it with you. Like, bitch, come on, let's go. Give it to her. Let's have fun. What would rap game, what would, the, what would this shit be like if Nikki didn't stir the pot? It would be boring as hell.